Remember not to forget the history written in the blood stains of souls deprived of a reputable burial and bandwagon deep into the dungeons of time. Remember not to forget because that is in a sense to accord those dead a rare chance to live with no monsters to strip them of their opportunity to exist. Monsters birthed and brewed from the boiling core of the 1942 Vansi conference in Berlin to organize the so-called blood bloody final solution to the Jewish question. Remember not to forget so as not to move on from a past not meant to be forgotten. Remember the violent grinding wheels of trains carrying thousands upon thousands of men, women, children with brave young hearts deprived of their tomorrows and futures they never live to tell. Remember their songs sung in the wind blowing in the face of a world that couldn't unravel their souls from the raging storms of forced execution. Remember the blistered palms, cut fingers and exhausted feet dragged through brutal weather in the face of sub-zero temperatures with crude simple tools, hansos and pick axes to dig through frozen ground and cut through trees. Remember those forced into corporate and coal mines with many others left to dig up debt with their bare hands. Remember those that fearlessly cut their own hands with axes and bent their own arms in wood stoves in deliberate effort to escape the crueling work. Those who labored for months upon months putting in their all assuming work would set them free by granting them a rare chance to return home. But they only wore themselves out and once judged incapable of work were killed with a phenol injection to the heart, a corrosive poisonous crystalline acid. What a reward to attain for laboring tooth and nail in vanity. Remember the disconsidered mothers and the ghastly sound of their crying voices into the ears of a universe that couldn't extend a hand as gowling bullets broke through their skulls while holding on to their babies with a bravery as paralyzed as dry air. Remember those sunken prostrate women separated from their husbands, fathers, brothers and teenage sons and then stripped naked, hair cut, defraud of their identification and birth name and reduced to just a face and a number tattooed on their arm. What a debasing way to reduce the pride of a woman's beauty into a uniformly hideous form. Remember the beaten hearts of innocent young Semitic children dragged in long queues to be suffocated and burnt in the heart of the crematorium, leaving the eyes of Mother Earth bleeding red from the smoke rising from their ashes. Remember every heart that sees beaten and every soul that met its end in death chambers infested with lethal toxic gases like Zyklone B or carbon monoxide with no chance for a possible escape from the grip of systematic genocide. Jews. Roma, Poles, all gassed and killed collectively in family units, you would never cease to wonder just what in the hell drove the hearts and minds of those Nazi brutes. I mean just take a moment and think about that for a minute and tell me if you don't want to walk into the ocean. Remember those forcefully subjected to evil medical experiments that stretched as further as castration, sterilization and tests for contagious diseases. Remember the young beautiful twins that met their tragic death in the hands of the infamous angel of death, an SS captain who reduced their human worth to sacrificial love rats to be dissected like hopeless animals simply because they fell victim to a gruesome scientific research infested with the head enough to consume common human decency. Remember not to forget. Remember so as not to move on from a past that meant to be forgotten. Remember Auschwitz. Yeah, I admit it, I'm a little unusual, an outlier, torn apart from the center of the normalcy, the conventional and the everyday. 